just installed an A 3100G green laser system. It's basically the same as the red as far as setup and stuff like that. But there are a few adjustments that need to be, that are kind of different um, as far as for the skew and the planer um, and movements. So to do that, right now we have it sitting at the Phantom and you can see that the line is not perpendicular the green laser line is not perpendicular to the white line. It's kind of, it's on top, it's close, and on the bottom, it's far away. So to get that rotation out of there, we, do, we need to do a skew rotation with the lens. To do that, there's a set screw on the lens. You need to loosen that set screw. Put the Allen wrench in there, loosen it, look back, rotate, rotate the lens until it's on the white line, and then tighten it. That is your rotation, your skew rotation. Now from the next one, you need to check to make sure it's, the angle is shooting straight across from the phantom here and shooting straight across the white line here. And if it's not, which we are, as you can see here, we are not quite on the white line. And as we go here, we're not on the white line. So now you can see that we're on the white line here, but not quite all the way across the white line here. So the line is shooting at an angle, at one direction or this direction. And in this case, we're shooting across this way. So to get that movement out, we need to move the whole laser assembly over and then, then skew and then move it back. So to do that, there's two screws that you have to loosen to do the whole assembly. And those are two screws in here. You need to loosen them slide it over, and then tighten it. So I'm loosening them. Sliding it over. And then you tighten them. So they're tight. And then you do the same process again. You make sure that the line is parallel to the white line, so the laser line is parallel. If not, if it isn't there, you need to rotate the lens so it is parallel with the white line. So you need to loosen again lens, rotate it so it's on the white line or next to it so it's parallel and then tighten it and then move, then move the whole line over and it's on. And then the next thing is to be checked to verify that the line is running down, down the last portion here and if it is, then you're on to the next one. So the last thing that we need to talk about is the focus. You need to, to focus the line. It's different than on the red. To do that, the adjustment would be you need to move the whole focus assembly. There's two screws in here, two set screws at about a 45 degree angle. Inside, one here one here, you loosen that up, or both of them up, and then you need to make sure that you need to move it up and down, then you'll see that the focus is good or bad. So it's bad, it's really thick here, and then it gets thinner as you move it up and down, and once you like it, you just tighten it. 
how you focus it. So to kind of recap what, what needs to be done, you first focus it, then you see about the rotation, make sure this line is good, and then you see about the angle. And to do that again, the rotation of the line is done, remember, by the rotation of the lens, the set screw here, rotating, get it straight or parallel to it, tighten it, and then move the whole line left or right or in or out is by the thumb wheel. And then if there's an angle at the Phantom, the, laser, the line doesn't go all the way across the top and hit the white line. The two, the two screws here, the whole lens assembly needs to move one direction or the other, depending on the direction.